first time tonight we're hearing from the mother of a teenager who was randomly stabbed while just walking home from a friend's house in Northeast Portland. She is out of the hospital tonight, but her attacker is still somewhere out there. Nearly two weeks have passed. Our Cole Miller is live in downtown now with more on what that mother is saying. Cole. Well, Jennifer, given everything that's happened, that mother tells me that her daughter is in good spirits. She's resting up, though her road to recovery could be a long one. All of this as police continue to try to track down a suspect. And a heads up tonight, a few of the photos in this story may be graphic for some viewers. Oh, her spirit is awesome. I can't believe this kid. She's tough, huh? Definitely. Standing up from that hospital bed and now at home, these are the scars, stitches, and staples from a random attack. This 18-year-old surviving a brutal stabbing at the hands of a stranger. After the physical pain goes away, there's still the emotional pain. That's the teen's mother who did not want to show her face on camera. It was earlier this month, the night of March 10th, that teen walking home from a friend's house when that violent assault began near Northeast 78th and Klickitat. We could just see blood near her head and then just running down the sidewalk and down the street. It was terrific. She was found where these two driveways meet in shock, going in and out of consciousness, a neighbor hearing the screams, running outside to help. We went quickly and got towels and a blanket to cover up and keep her warm a little bit. In all, she was stabbed roughly seven times, a nerve ending also damaged. She doesn't have a whole lot of feeling mm -hmm. in her left arm. And as she fights to recover, police still haven't released anything in the way of suspect information or if they have any leads. Trying to contact them today, I haven't heard back. For now, this mother is just trying to stay positive and focus on the road ahead. What's this whole thing been like for you? Can you even put it into words? I'm trying to stay normal. And in trying to stay normal, that mother tells me after dinner, she still goes for a walk every night around that neighborhood. And as tragic as all of this, as all of this is, she is still saying that this has brought those neighbors close together. Jennifer, of course, if anyone knows anything, they're urged to get in touch with police here. Live tonight in downtown Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. And I know you'll keep pushing police for answers in this, too. Yeah. Thanks, Cole.